Hey, welcome back. So, I have an interesting issue that may come up in your delivery experience, or if you uh, follow this channel for construction, uh, job site issues as well, especially with job sites because they're um, they're brand. A lot of times they're brand new and they don't exist in Google Maps yet. So this will be useful for you as well when you have the right address shown in the wrong location on Google Maps. How do you find it if you can't get a hold of the person, the job site, the foreman, uh, for DoorDash or Uber Eats or any of those delivery services, uh, the merchant doesn't answer, or if it's a, a, residence, a residential neighborhood that might be brand new, if the customer doesn't answer, especially with a lot of leave it doors. How do you find that address? There's going to be a basic version. I do plan on making a more extensive one um, eventually, but... Uh, what we're going to look at here is just how to correct this particular one because this is a real life issue that just happened to me tonight uh, delivering on DoorDash. So this is the address that DoorDash sent to uh, Google Maps. Now the really weird thing about it is when I type this in, let's see, boom, boom, boom. don't search it, come on. We're gonna hit directions. Uh, let's see, it's not pop, it's not. Okay, now it's just doing weird stuff here. <laughs> All right, here we go. So this is what happened. So it sent me to this, as you can see on the photo, that is a, a that is an ATM, okay? That's not where I wanna be. So when I was looking for Baskin Robbins, cause I just followed Google Maps, 95% of the time it's correct, right? I went to this parking lot and now it's dark out too. It makes it worse, right? It could not find the uh, Baskin Robbins because it's not in this parking lot and it's definitely not that ATM. So I do know how to read addresses and I just wasn't paying attention. It's important to know how to read an address. And what do I mean by that? So if we look up here, okay, in this corner right here, we have 4615, okay? So the last two digits of any address is the lot number or the house number and anything to the left of that is the block number whether that is uh one unit so 615 or 4615 or 146 or or 2146 that is the block number and as you can see here southwest means that i need to be 46 blocks west of Meridian because in my experience Meridian is a typically zero anything east of that gets bigger anything west of that gets bigger now in my area it might be different in yours or downtown cities street is east to west avenues are north to south so let's go take a look the first thing I look at when I get this is to double check the address okay now let's turn off the uh, there we go and if you look here, we're going to go and find the nearest avenue, okay? And you can see that it's one hundred, um, it's 64, okay? And it's only going to get bigger, 66, because I'm going to continuing to go west of Meridian. You can also see 194, 195, and 196. So I am on the right street at least. I'm 196. Now we're going to start going east, and we're going to notice the numbers are going to be getting smaller. So there's 60th, there's 58, there's 52nd, there's 48, there's 48, 44. Now I've gone too far because I'm looking for the address of 46, right? So we come here, there's 48, there's, there's 46 right here, okay? Now if we tap on Starbucks we can see that the address matches 4615 196th Street Southwest. So the address is valid, but for some reason, the translation from DoorDash to Google Maps messed it all up, which is why I think it was a bad um, refined pin from DoorDash. But anyway, I've corrected it, so no other drivers in my area will have this problem. Uh, editing Google Maps suggestions for things like that as a hobby of mine 
And typically when I make a correction, it happens within 24 hours. So nobody else should have that problem. Look, here it is again. 4615, Fred Myers, uh, 4615, okay? So now that I've found the right place, now instead of following this weird address, I'll just tap on this. Or actually, well, might as well even go to the same one, right? Baskin Robbins. And then I would hit directions, and then, and now I'm sitting in a different location right now to make this video, but um, had I been at that other location, it would have just told me exactly where to go. So I hope this is helpful for you. When an address is correct, but sending you to the wrong street, Google Maps does that a lot for new addresses, new business complexes, new construction. It just finds the... Um, it, Google Maps will F it up and send you to the nearest rant. I don't know what, what it's thinking. It doesn't. It should easily follow the grid. It's basically an X Y coordinate. Google Maps should be able to solve this problem, but it doesn't, or even notice that it's wrong in this instance. It should should flag that completely as wrong. Um, but how to find an address when you have the right address in the wrong location? Um, this is a basic way of doing it in a real life example. So I hopefully you find it helpful for you. Let me know um, if you've had this happen to you on Google Maps or even Apple Maps, if that's what you use. Uh, or there's also Garmin Maps. I mean, there's all kinds of things where navigation can get you wrong. And hopefully this will help you um, get you to that right location. So have a great day and we will see you on the next one. Uh, keep it fun.